Hello, so we are here today to talk a little bit about how to locate and how to label on sticky notes any of the signposts that you find in your reading. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate that with you today. So you're going to need some sticky notes, you're going to need a pen, you're going to need your bookmark that has all six of the signposts listed there along with the anchor questions that you need to answer and then you're also going to need your trash book. So <clears throat> I'm going to kind of put these things to the side for right now. I'm going to keep this green piece of paper uh, here with me but open up to part two or part one excuse me chapter two and we're going to start reading. I'm going to show you how to label some of these signposts. So where do we start? My unlucky, lucky day. The day the world turned upside down. That was a Thursday. Me and Gardo were up by one of the crane belts. These things are huge on 12 big wheels that go up and down the hills. They take in the trash and push it up so high you can hardly see it, then tip it out again. They handle the new stuff and you're not supposed to work there because it's dangerous. You're working under the trash as it's raining down and the guards try to get you away. But if you want to be first in line, if you can't get right inside the truck, and that is very dangerous, I knew a boy lost an arm that way, then it's worth going up by the belt. The trucks unload the bulldozers, roll it all to the belts, and up it comes to you, sitting at the top of the mountain. So I'm going to stop here because they were describing this little boy who lost his arm because he was inside the dump truck, and they mention that it's, they know it's dangerous to be standing there where the trash is raining down, but they do it anyway. So in my mind, that is something unusual that I wouldn't necessarily do. So if I look back at my green sheet of paper, it says something that kind of surprises me is a contrast and a contradiction. So I'm going to... Right here where I found this on the page, I'm going to grab a sticky note and I'm going to write on it contrast and contradiction just like this and I'm going to stick it on this page okay. and I'm going to draw kind of an arrow to where I found the information. I'm going to put it right there to that word dangerous because these boys are again jumping underneath this trash that's raining down on them um, and it's dangerous. So trash falling on them. Okay. But then if I look back at that green sheet of paper, not only do I need to label it contrast and contradiction, but there's a question that I need to answer on this sticky note. So if I look back, the question for a contrast and a contradiction says, what is the or why is the character doing that? So if I think about what my character is doing, my characters are doing, what these people are doing, Okay, I'm thinking that they're doing that because they don't really have any other option. Okay, this is how they get their money, this is their livelihood, so they're doing it because they kind of have to. They don't have another choice. Um, and if they aren't there first, somebody else is going to get those goods and use those. So <clears throat> um, it's their job and the only way they know how to survive. Okay, then I'm going to continue reading. That's where we are with a view of the sea. Guard is 14, same as me. He's thin as a whip with long arms. He was born seven hours ahead of me onto the same sheet, so people say. He's not my brother, but he might as well be because he always knows what I'm thinking, feeling, even what I'm about to say. The fact that he's older means he pushes me around now and then, tells me what to do, and most of the time I let him. People say he's too serious, a boy without a smile, and he says, so show me something to smile at. He can be mean, it's true, but then again, he's taken more beatings than me, so maybe he's grown up faster. One thing I know is I'd want him on my side always. We were working together and the bags were coming down, some of them already torn, some of them not, and that's when I found a special. A special is a bag of trash, unsplit from a rich area, and you always keep your eyes wide for one of them. I can remember even now what we got. A cigarette carton with a cigarette inside, that's a bonus. A zucchini that was fresh enough for stew, and then a load of beaten up tin cans. A pen, probably no good, and pens are easy to come by. And some dry papers I could stick straight in my sack. Then trash and trash, like old food in a broken mirror or something, and then falling <clears throat> into my hand, I know, I said you don't find interesting things, but okay, once in your life. 
It fell into my hand, a small leather bag, zipped up tight and covered in coffee grounds. Unzipping it, I found a wallet, next to that a folded up map, and inside the map, a key. So for me, this part down here at the bottom that I do have underlined is kind of um, an aha moment because it's surprising to him that he finds this in the trash when he's used to finding zucchini and plastic and papers and other junk. This is surprising to him. So I'm going to grab a sticky note and put it right here above this section. Again, draw an arrow down to it. I'm going to put find a special what they call it and then on the top of the sticky note I'm going to put aha moment you could probably also call this a contrast and a contradiction because it's out of the ordinary for them to find something like this but I'm going to label it the aha moment since I already have a contrast and a contradiction on the other page and then <clears throat> if you look back at your anchor question on your green bookmark for an aha moment it says how might this change things so if I think about the fact that they found this bag, how might that change things? And I have uh, kind of two ideas. Might give them hope of finding other specials. But I'm thinking it also might spike their curiosity about who the wallet belongs to and why it's in the trash. And so again, looking at both of these signpost stickies I found, I put the label of the type of signpost I've kind of given a brief description of the find, and then I've also answered the anchor questions on the sticky notes, so that if a teacher asks you what you found and what your thoughts are, you kind of have those already jotted down on paper. Hopefully this clears up any questions that you have on how you should be doing this. Um, there are tons and tons and tons of signposts that you can find. Uh, just because you might find something a little different than a friend doesn't mean that you are wrong by any means. It's just about getting you to read closely and really think about what it is that uh, you are learning.